One, two, three. Okay, okay. Here we go. Now you know. So here we go. Back to the best music on the island. I like it. On ICRT. 9.43 in the morning. We return to the morning show here. And uh, joining us on the phone, we've got Dr. Tom Farrow, the superintendent of the new Kaohsiung American School. He's on the line to uh, tell us a little bit about not only what's uh, kind of going on this weekend, but a little bit about the Kaohsiung American School. Good morning, Tom. How are you? Excellent. Good. Okay, there we go. We've got you now. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Terry. Ah, there we are. Excellent. Okay, uh, Tom, first of all, tell us uh, a little bit about uh, the background of the Kaohsiung American School leading up to this weekend. Well, obviously, it's an exciting Friday coming up. We have been around for 27 years. We started out in the basement of a hospital with 12 students, and uh, we've moved around. This is our fourth move, but now we're in the most gorgeous facility, one of the most gorgeous facilities in the world, I think. And uh, there's actually uh, sort of been a lot of talk about the, the design, and, and this is, I'm sure, what you're referring to when you say one of the most gorgeous facilities. There's a lot of talk about the design and whatnot of the school. Why don't you tell us uh, very quickly about some of the features of this? Well, it's, it's really a curriculum-based school, which I think is quite unusual. We built the school based around our needs. So an example would be that our school motto is Think Big. So, number one, we built a very big school uh, because we, we are a school of creativity, and we want to model that for the students. So now they're in a facility that is big where they can be creative. There's lots of opportunities. In fact, uh, one tour person said this is a school that screams creativity. Mm-hmm. Um, we believe in, in being transparent. I think that's the wave of the future for education. So our school is full of glass. Uh, it's the old saying that if you think you're great, show the world. So we think we're great. We want the world to see who we are. Uh, we have actually we built this to be a lead school, which is a, it stands for leadership in energy and environmental design. So we we often talk about protecting our environment, but we want to model this. So we have gone through the American standard for uh, green schools, and it's the most it's the highest standard actually in the world. So we put a lot of energy into re- using recycled water and. Um, making sure that, well, for example, we have a garden on the rooftop so kids can study plant life. We have really worked hard to to make sure that we minimize any adverse effects to indoor air pollutants. Uh, we've used recycled materials. I mean, we've really done nice. We're actually we're actually reducing energy use uh, in this school compared to the much smaller school. Excellent. So we think we've done a good job of, of modeling what we believe and preparing a, a school that will better meet the needs of our students. Excellent. Not 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 to sort of uh, stay on the idea of design here for the school, because I know it has a, a lot more offer than just a design, but also the uh, the two courtyards concept. Tell me a little bit about that. Isn't that great? Yeah, we actually, they, they, we have phenomenal architects, and so they took our child. We said build a school that nobody in the world will see because we want we want to honor differences in our students, so we wanted to have a school that was different. And we wanted to actually promote the American and Taiwan culture. So what the architects did is they designed the school with two courtyards, and that comes from the 19th century American colleges and universities and prep schools, where they actually had courtyards in the middle of the schools. It was easy for circulation. And, um, and we, it was also designed after the Aborigines in Taiwan, where they actually lived in a courtyard setting where the tribal meetings and activities were held in the center of the village. So we have combined the two, the American 19th Century College and the Taiwan uh, Aborigine lifestyles in the past to be part of the school. So that's one example of many of trying to tie the two cultures together. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's get on to some of the more uh, uh, hardened details regarding this weekend, because you guys are uh, officially having a little bit of a grand opening. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. We are. We, uh, tomorrow afternoon at one thirty, we're having the grand opening. We did have our little ceremony for our students on April 20th, which was our first day in the new school. Mm-hmm. But tomorrow in this spectacular theater um, that you really won't believe, it's, it's a state-of-the-art theater, it's the most beautiful theater in any school I've ever seen. But anyway, we have um, we have great music to start with. We want, we're we are promoting the school of the three A's now. We we're a school that already has a great reputation for high, high academic standards, and now we have a phenomenal arts facility 
And then the next phase that starts on June 14th is for the athletics. So those are the three A's, academics, arts, and athletics. So tomorrow, to, to promote the arts, we're opening up with some phenomenal music by three individuals. Uh, two of them are from Taiwan. One is from Hong Kong. The violinist is a man named King Fung Leung, who actually just two weeks ago was named Hong Kong Musician of the Year. Wow. He's a Juilliard person. And his wife is going to be, he'll play the violin. His wife, uh, Monica Su, is a cellist. She's from Tainan, graduate from USC in music, but she actually has quite a reputation around Taiwan. And then our harpist is a man named Zhou Li from Taipei, who um, is a composer and arranger. So we have three wonderful musicians to kick off the, the event. And then we kick into a move on to our speakers, where we have um, Brent Christensen from the AIT Taipei speaking, and uh, the Gaosheng branch officer, or Chief uh, Bob DeWitt. And then the highlight for, for me is uh, um, our mayor in Gaosheng, Chen, Mayor Chen Xiu, who will be doing the keynote. Excellent. Then we're going to recognize the, um, all the people who, well, every, many people made a big contribution to having our school be what it is. But we're going to highlight some of the people that, from the building committee to the architects and construction company, give them awards, and then we'll have the grand finale will be the ribbon cutting ceremony. And, and, and actually, the grand finale for me is, is that after this brief ceremony, we'll have our science club, high school science club. They will give tours of, of the uh, new school to, to people who are at, at the event. And we'll have a little gift for everybody. And then at the end, we'll have snacks. So I think it's going to be a, a wonderful afternoon for people who are available to come and see one of the nicest schools in the world. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, now uh, tell us. Uh, again, very quickly, just uh, a little bit of OKAS on a, a sort of daily basis in terms of the uh, uh, the education that it provides. Well, at, at KAS, we have 625 students now, and we're growing. We have grown for nine consecutive years, and we built this school for 800, and we want to stop at 800 because number one, we're a family. We're not we're not producing numbers. We're producing individuals. So we think with 800 or fewer students, we know everybody by name and and can support them and be a family. Be a family away from home. We we're a college-bound uh, school preparing students for college-bound, mostly studies in Canada and the United States. A high percentage of our students go on to the United States to study, but our expectation is that most of them will come back to Taiwan. And so we're different from most international schools. That so we're actually part of our community here. We are. We really focus on volunteering in, in Kaohsiung and helping out. We we work hard at building a healthy climate because our belief is that students have to be have to be comfortable before they can reach higher order thinking, which basically is being creative. So we we work very hard to make this a fun school. Um, it's interesting because a lot of people don't have that philosophy, but our belief is if you come here and you're having fun, we can hold you to high standards and you can succeed even more when it comes to achieving it academically. Excellent. Well, thanks, Tom, for joining us this morning and sharing. Before uh, I do say goodbye to you, is there any, for uh, you know, folks in Taipei that may not get an opportunity to uh, just kind of breeze by the, uh, the, the Kaohsiung American School campus, is there anywhere online where people can have a look at uh, some of the specs of the school, some of the pictures, something like that? Absolutely. Uh, we have a technology department here that most people would, would scream about having, and they have put together a wonderful website for us, and you can see in the animation of the school, you can go on and see who we are. You can see a brief bio of all our faculty members. And that's, that, that address which is very simple. It's just kas.tu. So it's www.kas.tu. Excellent. I'm sorry, TW. TW. So it's KS dot TW for Taiwan. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you, but I was gonna, I was gonna correct you there, but I didn't want to, you know. Hey, uh, you're the, you know. All right. Well, thanks, Tom. Listen, uh, uh, thanks for spending uh, spending your time with us here this morning, and uh, good luck this weekend, and uh, good luck, of course, in the future with uh, KES. Thank you very much, Jerry. Look forward to talking to you again. See you tomorrow. Excellent, Tom. Excellent. All right, 9.52 here on the morning show as we do continue. Coming up at the top of the hour, we do have Easy News, XRT News Team, all set to go with that. That'll be followed right after the top of the hour with your new music showdown, brand new music pit against each other each and every morning here. Uh, we'll get to that. And I do believe in the next hour, we've also got everybody's favorite morning show, game show. That's all coming up uh, in the next hour. So do stay with us here. This is going to be new from the Alabama Shakes, taking us up to 10 a.m.